I uh, purchased these 34 paperback books on uh, online recently, and they just arrived in the mail today. So I thought I would uh, just go through them here. And books added to my collection. Now, probably the most interesting are these Robin Carr books as that you see here. This These were book number one, two, three, four, five. Her first five books from the 1980s. And then I'm missing number seven and eight. And then, uh, six and seven, rather. And then seven books number seven and book number eight. Now, all but one of these are historical romances from the 1980s. And most of them are published by Pocket Books. And this was her very first, Robin Carr's very first novel here. Now, these uh, Pocket Book editions came out uh, a little bit after. Like, this is 1980 that the actual book came out. And the Pocket Book edition was published in 1985. There's the back cover. And we have the Blue Falcon, which makes me think of uh, Dynamut, the ca ca cartoon character from that time. Uh, his uh, sidekick was the Blue Falcon. This uh, is an interesting uh, back cover there. Now you notice there's a quote from Jennifer Blake on the back cover here. And on the front cover, there's a blurb from Danielle Steele, which is kind of uh, curious that a, a beginning writer would have had such uh, props from such uh, famous authors. So that's her second novel, and her third and fourth novels are right here. And let's see what years on this one. Let's see, published originally published, I guess, in hardcover, probably in 1982, and then this paperback edition from 1986. We have the back cover there. And then her fourth novel, Brazewood Tapestry. And another one here. This is her fifth novel, The Troubadour's Romance. Again, you have a Danielle Steele plug on the cover. Interesting uh, description on the back here. Pawn in a royal bargain. Beautiful Felice Skelfton was handed in marriage to Sir Royce Layton, the scarred and brooding lord of the grim keep of Siegeland. And then, uh, like I said, I don't have her sixth or seventh uh, novel, but here's her eighth novel, and this is actually a contemporary, Tempted. And this one is from 1987. And this one uh, apparently is about a woman who uh, has a relationship with a minister, which is kind of an interesting, uh, interesting twist. And then her ninth novel, Rogue's Lady, which is a historical romance from Pinnacle Books. And this one published in 1988. It was printed in 1988. All right, and now I got some more tapestry novels. I had a video where I showed my whole tapestry collection. So right now I'm currently missing about 20 books in the tapestry series, which was Pocket Books' uh, series of historical novels that they did in the 1980s. And Defiant Love by Maura Seeger. This one is actually the second book that tap of the Tapestry series from 1982. And this is book number 49 by Monica Berry, who is actually a male writer. October 1984, David Wind. Is actually, so Monica Berry is actually a pen name. 
And then we have books number 64 and 67. So like I said, I'm missing about 20 books to have all 94 books of the Tapestry series. And these are from late 1984 or so. So also during that time, Avon Books had a series called the Avon Romance that you can tell from the little ribbon there on the corner. And this is by Susan Wiggs, Briar Rose, which is the name of the heroine in this book. Philippa Carr, who is also Victoria Holt. This is a Fawcett book, Voices in a Haunted Room. And this one is from the 1980s, I believe. 1985, it says. Running through some more here. Coventry, Fawcett's uh, series of Regency novels, Co the Coventry Romances. This is book number 68. Margaret Somerville. I've read one of her Signet Regency novels. Uh, this is one of her early books. I think it's her fourth novel from uh, 1981, Rogue's Masquerade. Uh, so we have here a couple of Elizabeth uh, Mansfield novels, three of them, from the 1980s by Berkeley Publishing, and later by Charter Books, which is an imprint of Berkeley. These have some really nice covers. It's these nice painted covers, and on the back they show some of the other Elizabeth Mans Mansfield books that you can get. And also of series books, we have Barbara Cartland. And I had read one of Barbara Cartland's Camfield novels. It was like from 1989. Now these books are all from 1982, published by Jove Books. Now this is Camfield novel number one from 1982. It has a nice, nice front cover there. And there's a picture of Barbara Cartland on the back. New Camfield novel number two. There's Barbara Cartland. And this was a reprint of a uh, 1972, I believe, uh, book, book number 36. It also came out in 19... This uh, Jove edition came out in 1982. Another picture of her on the back. I got two Signet double romances from the 1970s, and these just reprint some books from the 1960s, although I noticed they say condensed for modern readers. This book has two books by Peggy Gaddis in it. An Arlene Hale book. Uh, this is a 1970s book by Ace that reprints one of their uh, Arlene Hale books from the 1960s. A Lucy Walker book uh, from the 1970s. She was a popular Australian writer. And this is book number 33 of the Lucy Walkers. And a couple old Harlequin novels from the 1970s. These, this one here is a reprint from the 70s of a 1960s edition. And two Candlelight romances from the early 1980s. And I'm a fan of this series and collect them. Fawcett had their own category romance series called Cameo Romance in the early 70s. This one's by Marcia Manning. And Signet Books had their own category uh, romance series in the early 80s called Adventures in Love. This is book number 21, Amethyst Summer. And finally, two Rapture Romance books, book number 18 and number 91. In the 1980s. This was also by New American Library, which was the parent company of Signet. So after after they did Adventures in Love, they, they canceled that series. It's book number 21. Then they started doing Rapture Romance. That's book number 18, book number 91. I think they stopped sometime maybe around book number 110 or something like that. Anyways, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. There's the there's a little editorial page in this one.
talks about rapture romance. Robin, Grun er, Robin Grunder was the editor of the series. And that's it. That's my uh, recent uh, book haul. It all came in the mail today. Thanks for watching.